my name is Rita Amari Chinda and I welcome you to Hashtag IP Series which features talks on recent IP cases and developments globally. This could be in form of a copyright, trademark, patent, industrial design, trade secret, plant varieties, and geographical indication. If this is your first time listening to Hashtag IP Series, please favorite my podcast on Anchor and don't forget to also like and share on any social media platform you've come across um, my podcast. So today we'll be talking about the on ending love between valentine and intellectual property we just celebrated valentine's day so happy post valentine celebration guys and yeah let's get right into what ip um what business ip has with valentine i know like a lot of, a lot of people are going to find it a bit weird that i, I think that ip has like an interplay or um there's a fusion between ip and valentine's day but you know there's a lot of business or money to be made on valentine or the week of valentine's day so we're basically going to have conversations on how to commercialize and exploit that one day set aside for romance you know i mean come on talking from the gift to the car to the songs to the movies everything about um valentine's day and ip is centered on love so how are you going to make money of a love day so for smes msmes entrepreneur big brands big luxury and high street brand they all want to get like a pound of flesh from this day set aside for love so it could be in form of the gifts you're creating or the cards jewelry cosmetic clothes flowers oh i love flowers um songs moves you name it like there's so much ip surrounded around the things that will be exchanged or things that we get to see um you know so ip is at the center of this particular day the love 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 day um from the literary and artistic works the sign logos and symbols affiliated with branded goods and services the look and feel and shape of products and merchandise um you know that will be exchanged or given out or made for valentine now If you've created any Valentine's package this year or this period or or any time before today, but you never knew that there was an IP side of it, I'm here to tell you that you should consider commercializing and exploiting your IP. So first up is um, copyright, which basically protects um, works like pictures that will be taken or artistic works, um, sculptures, poems that will be written, songs that will be written and sound, uh, movies as a cine- cinematograph work um, videos made showing how you guys met and how you guys are currently doing so most of you started at you know either we met on twitter or met on facebook or met on in the dm on instagram or met through a friend you know all those sort of things cute things that you guys do um for the lovers out there and even for your family members you know um Copyright as a form of IP basically grants you automatic protection from the moment your work is created. And Section 10, Sub 1 of the Nigerian Copyright Act provides that the author, the only person entitled to claim authorship, not only, rather, um, but the person that can say, oh, I'm the first author, is the person that makes the work. So if he's a photographer, he's the first um, author of that work um however it's a contract that determines um you know who gets to own the copyright at the end of the day and we know that when it comes to intellectual property documentation is key and very 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 important next up is trademark trademark is all about the signs the symbols logo designs name smell color Anything that indicates what a brand is affiliated with that helps consumers identify this brand in question. For instance, if you got a gift on Valentine's Day, what is the name of the brand on that gift? Did you see any logo, any sign, any symbol? Just quickly check the name of the brand and identify the logo. So if you got a an engagement ring, 
yeah if you got an engagement ring check if it's a branded good so if it's a nigerian brand you're thinking st tracy um if it's a foreign brand you're thinking tiffany's or h and m if you got a lingerie it could be a fenty savage fenty if you got chocolate it could be ashes if you got jewelries you could be from swavrovsky um and they have a brand an outlet in nigeria so yeah um so brands that you know opt to also come customize their valentine packages um can also you know to your name um your sign your symbol can be trademark now however you have big brands like the starbucks or movies or um that you know creates merchandise especially for valentine's day and i did see a picture online um starbucks had like a a customized lovey dovey cup then we had the um we are one cup um and some other brands as well so i think it's an an area that uh, most nigerian brands have been really exploited i mean i know for every time i put up a poll as to whether or not people have it own a trademark the majority of those who own a trademark are lesser than those who do not own a trademark so you need to start considering trademarking your your brand name your logo your signs your symbols then then um next we have the industrial design which is all about the look feel and shape of a product uh, which could be in co- um, in form of uh, a combination of colors created for valentine's day so valentine usually see a lot of reds and maybe a lighter shade of pink in form of a heart but then you see that brands go all the way out you know trying to make things a bit more appealing so you have like different shapes of teddy bears or a love bouquet or um a valentine's day collection be it um, in cosmetics or clothing line or perfumes accessory whatever and that's basically uh what um industrial designs all so when you are dealing with patents you're talking about the functionality of the gifts or the invention created so for instance i gave examples on my twitter thread so i talked about couples drinking straw which is said to have been patented um sometime in 1888 i mean can you imagine how long that is then you have apps dating apps like um harmony which uh, applied for a patent um sometime in 2014 and it was eventually granted in 2017 and they've successfully renewed that patent that allows online matching via a wearable design or device rather i mean people are really thinking far you know um another form of ip is plant variety or breeders right which protects new varieties of um, plants such as flowers eg roses i love flowers and that's at the beginning but i do love i really do love flowers and i got one sometime in 2014 yeah and i kept it for about a week <laughs> even after it had dried up and died but yeah so flowers can be given to you know family friends colleagues co-workers or a partner or a lover your wife your husband your children you know anyone so matter arising of potential issues that you know smes or uh msmes or brands may face during the valentine period one you find that a lot of counterfeits counterfeited goods or pirated goods will be sold or passed off as the original goods or products to innocent people and this is so bad i mean you really want to i don't know how to really explain this but those are it's like a global pandemic that is counterfeiting is like a global pandemic uh, and you see that more during festive period because a lot of people want to get gifts so you see that people try to intercept um or cut the chain of line in terms of distribution and then just pass off um, an inferior product for a quality product um um, another issue would be on trademark um 
such as keywords being used to manipulate consumers or you know used to cause like a likelihood of confusion um thereby misleading consumers to think that they're actually buying um the brand that they um, actually wanted so for instance and there's this uk case that um, we were being told about during my master's program it's called the interflora inc against Marx and spencer mns so um, apparently mns bought several keywords containing the the mark interflora um and it turned out that when people wanted to order flowers from interflora it will take them to mns um website when they found out about that they sued um mns um for infringement and we know that trademark as an ip is territorial um in nature so this they sued mns for infringement of their national and community registered trademark for the world interflora and in 2070 um interflora inc got um judgments in their favor so in conclusion um how can we take advantage of intellectual property not just for valentine's day or you know festive period but for every other thing we do so in general one you need to be um you know as a creative person you always need to register your creative inventions uh or your innovative work register your ip basically talk with your ip lawyer to help you with ip registration and return an intellectual property lawyer i mean i can't i don't know how 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 long i'll keep saying this then up to a multi-layered ip protection um so one product can be registered as a trademark for the name logo sign symbol um industrial design could be for the you know the feel and touch um aesthetic features of the product then you can also um you know opt for a patent protection if you if you have like an invention and then you can also opt for a copyright protection if maybe you have pictures movie books you know all those things so have opt for a multi-layered ip protection then document every transaction by signing contracts <sighs> we really need to start you know cultivating the act of the habit of signing contract then commercialize and exploit your creations by licensing it or assigning it or you know create a merchandise or even build a franchise around your product forget about social media call outs especially in the event of a dispute um opt rather speak to your ip lawyer who issue a season and desist letter um or you go to litigation like interflora inc or you opt for um, an out-of-court settlement through alternative dispute resolution mechanisms such as arbitration, mediation, and negotiation, conciliation. And with that, I come to the end of today's IP series. I know it's Valentine. And I think one of the most common phrases I saw this period was, I burn for you. So if you're a Bridgerton fan, like I am. <laughs> if you're a Bridgerton fan, I'm taking a bow. With the most common phrase from Bridgerton, I burn for intellectual property even on Valentine's Day. So let me know if you learned something. And thank you guys for always tuning in and listening to my podcast. See you in the next episode. Bye.